Hey everybody, today we're going to make uh, something that I have been craving for a while now, and that is some fish stew. We're going to have white fish, uh, salmon, and shrimp in it, but you can choose what kind of fish that you want in yours. So, I'll just bring you down and we will get started. This is going to be really flavorful and just a really good stew, I feel like. So I'm going to turn the burner on and let it start getting hot. And I got the wrong knife. So I'll stick this one back. And get the right one. I'm going to put about half of this um, stick of butter to help make it real rich. This is butter and not margarine. So I have my butter in there and it's going to be melting. And I'm going to put um, celery in. And I'm going to Cut the celery fairly thin. So that it'll um, cook up nice and um, well done. I like my vegetables well done. If you don't like yours well done, just don't cook them as long as I cook mine. And I cut use my celery all the way up the little leaves and everything because I think they have plenty of flavor and will be good in the stew or whatever it is that you're making. And I could have cut this even a little bit thinner than what I did. But uh, here is the celery that we're going to put in and let it be sauteing. I'm going to grab a spoon. And along with the um, butter, I'm going to put about two tables of tablespoons of olive oil. So we'll let that be sauteing while I cut up my other stuff. Um, I'm going to be putting zucchini in it. I just love zucchini so much. And so, I'm going to put uh, probably two zucchinis in it. I've always loved it. About any way you can fix it. So here is one zucchini. Now give it a stir. And I'll cut up another one. I'm not sure if you can see me or not. Maybe that'll be a little bit better. And the last thing that I'll have to cut is um, the onion. You can also put carrots in it if you want to, or really you can put whatever you like.
and I have no idea why I started wanting fish stew. This is the first time in my life I think I have ever wanted fish stew. But I love fish, so we'll get this made. So I think two zucchinis will be enough. I have a, a third one here, but I'm just going to put two. And now I'm going to put the onion. So, I'll get it cut up. I think I've dropped about as much on the floor as I've put in the pan. And I'm just putting this in chunks. Alright, so I'll put it on the end. And I'll give it a stir. So while it is sauteing, I'm going to get the fish. This has, um, this is, I had it in my refrigerator. It was frozen when I bought it, and it has thawed out some. Uh, I think it's thawed out all the way. It's just still real cold. But there's juice in the bottom of the bag, which I want to put that juice in the pot. So that's what that is. If you happen to see that so I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the seasonings in I'm gonna use some basil probably about two tablespoons of basil and y'all know I really love basil some garlic salt and that'll be about a tablespoon. I'm gonna use some cilantro. And that's gonna be about a tablespoon. This is Old Bay in uh, this little Tupperware. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of it. And this is cumin. And it's got about half a tablespoon. So I'm going to stir those up and when they hit the heat they kind of open up and get more fragrant and um, more flavor so i'm going to let that cook for just a few minutes 
and I'm going to cut up the, the uh, fish, and this is a uh, white fish. I'm going to try to not let that juice get out. There's just not a whole lot, but a little in the bottom. And they're about like this, each one of them. So I'm cutting them about that size. And when I put them in the pot, I don't want to stir a whole lot because I don't want to have the fish break apart. So that is the whiting cut up. And I believe I'm going to go ahead and add my liquid to this. I believe this is sauteed enough. And I'm going to add a can of tomato sauce. And then the bigger can, the 28 ounce uh, diced tomatoes. So I'm going to add 28 ounces of water and I'm going to put some uh, chicken bouillon in it. So here's the 28 ounces of water. Let me run and get the bouillon. I forgot to get it. So I'm using the Nor dried um, um, bouillon, and I'm going to use about a tablespoonful. If you use too much of the bouillon, it gets real salty. So if you would rather use chicken broth, you know, you can use that. So this needs to boil for a few minutes and kind of let the flavors um, come together. I'm going to go ahead and pour this little bit of broth from the whiting in. That just gives it more of the fish uh, flavor. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm gonna let this boil for just a few minutes and I'll come back and we'll continue on. I've let the um, stew part uh, simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. And so we're gonna go ahead and continue adding stuff to it. So I'll take you down. And I tasted it after I cut the um, the phone off 
and I felt like it needed more Old Bay, so I added another tablespoon. And I also forgot to add the bacon, and I added a, about a medium handful of the bacon bits, and you can cook your own bacon and add it if you want to, or use the bacon bits, however you want to do it. If you want to just even use bacon grease, you can use that, or just not um, use anything, or any bacon. So now we're going to add our meat, and I'm getting cut open. And this is the salmon. I got all this at all these. But I'm going to add this uh, whiting first. And I'm going to not really stir it, but just kind of place it around where it gets under the broth and then I'm going to open these packs of salmon and I don't like the way that little end looks so I'm not going to use it but I'll put those in If I had realized these were already individually wrapped, I would have had those open. added the salmon. Now I'm going to add the shrimp and I'm using the medium um, shrimp and uh, let's see what size bag this is. This is a 12 ounce bag so there's 53 to 68 shrimp. So I'm putting that in and just kind of making sure all the fish gets under the, the uh, sauce. Now I forgot one thing, so I'm gonna grab it. bottle of lemon juice but right now I can't find it but I do have a lemon so I'm going to squeeze the lemon juice in there and I would like to have more than this in there so if I find the lemon juice I'll squirt a little bit of it in there So what I'm going to do after I get the lemon juice in there is I'm going to let this come back up to a boil, just a gentle boil, and I'm going to let it go for about a minute to a minute and a half, and then I'm going to cut off the burner, but leave the 
the pot on the burner and just let it set for about 10 minutes or so, then it'll be ready to eat. You don't want to overcook the shrimp or your fish or it's going to be really tough. So I've got the lemon juice in there, and I'm just kind of stirring a little bit, but uh, not stirring. So after this has um, boiled for about a minute, and then set for about 10 minutes or so i'll come back and we'll see what it looks like all right y'all we're ready to try the um i'm gonna call it seafood stew since it has three types of seafood in it there's what it looks like it's just full of the seafood smells wonderful if you put some green peppers in it, that would be real good too. But I'm gonna dish some up. And that's what it looks like with the big chunks of seafood or a uh, fish. Here's the um, shrimp and I'm not sure if I got a piece of salmon up or not but anyway it smells wonderful and I think it's gonna curb my craving so I really appreciate y'all watching I hope you make this and I hope you like it take care thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon bye bye